Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for bringing us to this point in the service. Lord, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray, Lord, that you will speak to us and above all, you will engage us in prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. And our prayers will ascend up to heaven. Answers will come through your favor in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for the answer. You, in Jesus' name we pray. Now, as we were told, today um, we are spending time to pray. And then the question will be, what are we praying for? Well, it is very simple. We are pleading with God for uncommon laborers. We know laborers, those that work. But there are some laborers that are not common. They're just different. Now let's read from Matthew chapter 9. The reason why we need to pray, the Lord himself has told us what the reason is for the prayer. I read from Matthew chapter 9, verse 35. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages. What was he doing? Teaching, Teaching in their synagogues. And doing what? And preaching. and preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And then healing, healing every sickness and every, every disease among the people. That was the business he came to do. And Jesus was doing that business. But then he will not do that business alone. As he was doing it, the disciples followed him. They were going there together. And in verse 36, as he was preaching, as he was healing, he noticed something. He saw people. And the whole thing about Christian service, whether we are singing or we praying, we are doing one thing or the other, is this focus on people because we minister to people. When Jesus Christ came, he came for people. Whatever you are doing in the house of God, do it for people. So except we have a heart for people, we will not be able to do the work of God effectively. It is not to demonstrate my talent. It is not to show who I am. It is people. Every priest that is raised from among men is raised to minister unto people so that we can connect people with God. The moment you get connected with God, your life takes a different turn. In fact, the greatest minister on earth is the person that is connecting other people to the Almighty God. So the moment you get connected to God, you can step aside and see how God changes their lives, how God works in their lives. And that is the point the church should be looking at. When people come to church, we are not telling them, come and see how beautiful our church is. When they get connected with God, they take that God home. It begins to bless them. It begins to change their lives. It begins to do something in their families. People who see them, they'll be able to see, I see something different about you. Amen. Amen. That's what only God can do. Eh? Our sons and daughters, when they, go to, when, they, when they come, when they have that life in them, and they go to school or they go to work, somebody sees them and says, ah, you look different in this place. You are different from the rest of us. You are positively different. What? What is happening? Because that individual has been connected with God, that makes the difference. Your wife, your husband, your relatives, they see that difference in your life. They say, you are different. And because of that, they can follow you to the same God. And then Jesus, in verse 36, this is what moved him. But when he saw the multitudes, what happened? He was moved with compassion on them. Why? Because, and were, as what? As sheep, having no shepherd. And that's where 
some people will stop and say, ah, look at this country. The devil has taken over. Everybody is bad. They look at the students, they say, look at what they are doing. They look at the workers, they say, look at what they are doing. But Jesus Christ didn't stop there. Look at verse 37. He said unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. What should we do? In verse 38, pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. And that's what we are doing today. That's what we are doing today. Pray. And God will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. And there are some laborers that you can almost not do without. Everywhere. Because they are so useful. They are so different. But when they are not in church, you miss them. When they are not in the ministry, you miss them. And those are uncommon laborers. And we have read about them, in two of them, in our text. That's why what we are going to do today, we just look at that text, and we are going to pray the text into being. Amen. Amen. And the way we are going to pray is, we take one item, there are 15 of them in that text. We take one item, the first prayer is that, Lord, make me like this. And then we are going to pray that God add other people. Do you understand? It's just like, for example, if you're asking God, oh God, bring people to invite others to the church. Where do you start from? You. Oh Lord, let the church be full. Where do you start from? Myself. Because you don't stay at home. Oh God, let that church be full. You come. So we will pray, God, I want to be that kind of laborer. And then I don't want to be alone. I want you to add other people. Remember, Jesus was talking to his disciples. They were working already. They were serving already. And he said, pray. Pray ye the Lord of the harvest. He will bring laborers because... They, you know, they had the, 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 the confidence to pray. You can't pray for something that you yourself you are not obeying. But all of us will become uncommon laborers in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, the uncommon laborers are people, you will miss them. And they are not. Ah, where, where is Brother so-and-so? Where is Pastor so-and-so? Where is Sister so-and-so? You always miss them when they are not around. You know. You, you, their impact is felt. I pray you will be missed when you are not there. Because there are some people, you know there is a Dutch proverb, it says, visitors always do you a pleasure, either by their coming or by their leaving. You understand what it means? Some, when they come, you say, wow, thank God they are here. Others, they do you pleasure when they leave. They say, thank God he has left. You will not be like that in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let's, let's, let's just look at this text, uh, Philippians chapter 2. Philippians, which chapter, my brethren? So, and with this message, we are not only praying, we, are, we will pray, but there is a lot we are going to teach you here how to do. Number one, prayer, yeah? Are we together? Number two, we teach you how to pray the scriptures. If you want your prayer to be effective, just take a text of the Bible and be praying it into your life. Number three, we teach you how to meditate. Because all that is here is just from that text. When you are doing your quiet time and say, how do I meditate? You will see Practically what it means. Because from that text, we distill 15 things from that same text. And number four, we are teaching you as a minister how to write an outline in an effective way. Not just jumping from here and there and taking all over the world. No, just stay with one text and milk it and go inside it and fish out the things that are there. 
then your messages will be powerful. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. So four in one. Ready? Yes. Philippians chapter 2, verse 19. But I trust the Lord to send Timothy shortly to you, that I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. Now, who was writing here? Paul. Paul. Paul was a minister. He was, let's say, he was the pastor of the church, of the denomination. And then he wanted to send somebody. Who? Timothy or Timothy. He wanted to send him. Now, let's say Timothy is like Brother Daniel. And that we say, let me send Brother Daniel to you. Then he must be an uncommon laborer. Somebody who is going to replace Paul. Do you understand? That Paul will be able to trust that if I send Daniel there, huh, he will do it exactly the way I shall do it. He must be an uncommon laborer. Amen. Amen. Who wants to be like that? Huh. So if we say, okay, we will send Sister for me on behalf of the pastor. Once she gets there, everything the pastor will do, that's what she will do. That's an uncommon liberal. It's the person that when you are sending, you don't need to be saying, I hope the church will not scatter. I hope they will not know error. Do you understand? It's a, so, now let's, what made Timothy like that? Well, look at it in verse 20. Number one, let's read it together. For I have no man like-minded. Hey, stop there. What are we looking for? A like-minded helper. He will help me. Okay, and the rest of the, of the verse, let's, let's read it together. Who will naturally do what? Who are we looking for as an uncommon laborer? A caring builder. He will care for their state. Naturally. He will just care. I, I, are you, this is how to meditate in the word of God and bring out some, look at verse 21. What was written there? For all seek their own. All, it all includes Timothy. So who are we looking for here? Somebody who is not seeking his own. A selfless servant. Just serving so all of the other people, they are all, do, do, do you know what you are praying for today? So when you are praying for yourself, Lord, I want to be a selfless servant. To serve without seeking my own. And the rest of the verse? Not the things that are written. And in verse 22, but you know, what is the proof of him? That... Hallelujah. As a son with a father. Who are we looking for? A son in the ministry. You know? A son or, of course, a daughter in the ministry. So that's what we are praying for. So as we are praying, I want you to be noticing all those things. We'll be praying. We'll be jumping on them one by one. The Lord will answer our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So as we are praying, do you see now you are meditating? And you're writing and you say, hey, that's how to, to, to do it. And then the, 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 the next verse, uh, verse 23, it says, Him therefore I hope to send presently. What do you see there? I want to send him. Huh? Pastor says he's a missionary. Yes, I'm sending him. It's a representative. And is it, what kind of representative will that be? Somebody that I can depend on or somebody that I cannot depend on? A dependable representative. I'm sending him. And that's what we are praying for. That we can send somebody and say, this is a dependable representative. representative. And thank God we have had such people that will say, okay, I, I can't go there or I am doing, going this way. You also go that way. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. In verse 25, uh, verse 24, but I, I trust the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. Of course, he was confident that having sent the representative, the church will still be there by the time he will be there. 
In verse 25, yet I suppose it necessary to send to you whom? Everybody mentioned the name. Aha. Amen. Amen. I want to start joy to mention the name. Hallelujah. Huh. Let's give it an attempt. Epa. Epaphroditus. Everybody say Epaphroditus. Epaphroditus. Hallelujah. It's just the same as your own name. If you ask somebody else to mention your name, they say, they don't know how to call it now. You also, I mean, we, this is Bible name. We will, we will call it in the Bible. We praise, praise the Lord. But Epaphroditus, what was this man? Number one? My brother. Hallelujah. What are we praying for? A brother or a sister. He didn't say, I want to send to you Senior evangelist, senior apostle, you know, a humble brother. Not the words, ah, you dare call me? Ah, if you say Mr. So and so, he said, I'm Dr. So and so. I spent four years for this PhD. Is it because I'm in church? No, you're talking about a humble brother, a humble sister, just like that. And what else again do we see? A companion in what? Huh? What are we praying for? Ah, the one companion in labor. Not the one that will say, hey, no, you, you, I don't want to, I will do my own on my own. A companion in labor. You know, we are, do you know the sweetness when we are working together? Where you are, do you know that when you are working together, you do more? The reason is that there is also that moral support. And those who are doing fitness, for example, you know when you are jogging and you are doing all <laughs> but when you have a body and you are jogging together, you are talking, okay. Do you remember the one that was doing the Olympic, uh, Paralympic uh, uh, marathon? Man blind. And so when they do the marathon, they will always need somebody to be a guide. And if you are the one that is a guide, <laughs> you also are running the marathon. And then the one that was a guide <laughs> got tired. It was the blind, the real sportsman that had to be pushing. Uh, and you also see, even in the real th uh, something, uh, these uh, men that run, they, they motivate each other. We, you know, you can get there more. But no, 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 I don't want to work with everyone. No, this one is a companion in labor. Not a companion in gossip. <laughs> you understand? But a companion in labor. That's what you are praying for. We are going to pray the Lord will answer in Jesus' name. Amen. What, do, what else do we see about this brother? Fellow a fellow soldier. In one verse. Four points from one verse. A fellow what? A fellow soldier. Eh? It's, a, it's, a, it's a trusted soldier, a dependable, a trusted, a fellow soldier. And what then do we see the last one there? Uh, messenger. Messenger. Huh. Messenger of the church. Which kind of messenger was he? Unfaithful one. A faithful messenger handling the word of God as he has been taught. That's the person we are. And what else? He that ministers to my wants. What is that in plain language? Huh? Hmm? He ministers to my wants. My needs. Yeah. It's ministering to your needs. What, what, is, what is the meaning of that? Hmm? Minister to the needs of the minister. Amen. Huh? A support to leadership. He will minister. He, will. he was helping. Helping Paul. Ministering to me. Sometimes, you know, maybe you are working and uh, you are earning uh, money. You are in support. You know what I'm After all, also, I'm, I'm preaching. No, we are. It's everything. This man put everything inside. Hallelujah. Amen. So you begin to see uh, is that ministers to my own. Uh, and uh, when you look away, which verse have you finished now? 
verse 13, 25. Let's go, go to 26. For he longed after you all. What do you see here? He longed after you all. Huh? He longed after the brethren. He hated the brethren. No, he he had them, them in mind. What else do we say that? He loved the brethren. A lover of the brethren. Not just what he could get from them. In fact, some of these ministers, they will take their own money and use it to help the brethren. A lover of the brethren. You are ministering to the brethren. What else do we see in verse 26? Why was he full of heaviness? Ah, he said, they, they heard that I was sick. Now, the person who was sick was full of heaviness because the people heard. I, ho I hope the brethren will not be troubled. I hope they will not be discouraged. He was full of heaviness, not because of his own sickness, but because the people heard. Say, hey, what would be the impact? This man was sensitive to the brethren. He was a sensitive minister. You don't just say, hey, whatever they will think, let them think. Am I a stone? When, they are, when, they are, when you are dealing with, with members of the church, you know, some people, they just, whatever they, no matter how they feel, let them feel that way. Whatever you're hurting, whatever I do, whatever I say, I mean, it's, so was he that person that was going to hurt the brethren? No. A minister. This was a sensitive minister. And look at verse 27. For indeed, he was sick. How serious was the sickness? Near unto death. But God had mercy on him. And not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Verse 28, let's read it together. You see me opening my mouth. The man almost died. What did Paul do? I, he sent him again. He said, ah! If there are some people who say, hey, you want me to die? Well, there is no love of God in this church. I almost died. And now they are sending me again. To do what? Who is caring for me? And when I die now, they will begin to weep. They will begin to shed crocodile tears. And then they will bury him and say, hey, good man has gone. And then they will continue. The church will continue. Which kind of church is this? No. No. This one. What do we call such people? A relentless worker. He was relentless. Uh, and in verse 28, uh, particularly, uh, this man was an addict. He was addicted to the work of God. Amen. Amen. He was just doing it. Doing it. Doing it, doing it, doing it. And let's read verse 28. The last part. I sent him therefore more carefully. What, that when you see again, ye may rejoice that I may be the less sorrowful. Praise the Lord. Paul could not be there. He sent this addicted worker again. What do you call that? When Paul was not there in the church, was Paul missed in the church? When he was not there, nobody was there. What was left behind? What do we call that? Uh, somebody is talking from the, uh, I think uh, he's, uh, he's already doing OAU there. It's, it's looking at the outline. Amen. Amen. Where Brother Daniel is sitting now, if I just take him away and the chair, what do I leave behind? A gap. A gap. If I now bring another chair and another brother sitting there, the gap is filled. Which, who is an uncommon liver? A gap filler. And which kind of gap filler are we looking for? A diligent one. Because Brother Daniel will be doing the camera. If you now bring somebody, and instead of doing the camera, he's working on his mobile phone. The time that we should have the camera on, everybody's looking, where is the camera? Now, that would not be a diligent gap filler. 
So a diligent gapilla is somebody who will do the work as the apostle will do it. So we know what we are praying for. Do we understand? Let's rise up to pray. I want you to thank God for today. Let's praise the name of the Lord because we are going to pray. And it's joy. It's joy to pray because now you know what to pray for. Let's thank the Lord. Thank God for bringing you into a church, uh, bringing you into the gospel, bringing you among the brethren. Let's thank the Lord. Let's thank the Lord. Praying is joyful because we know our God will answer our prayers. Let's thank the Lord. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we magnify your name. Lord, we praise you. Let's say, Lord, I just praise you for today. I thank you, O oh Lord, because I have the privilege to pray and to be a partaker, a part of the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. Now you are praying for yourself. Whether you are here in the church or you are there online, our brethren from Denmark, uh, from, uh, uh, from, 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 from uh, Czech Republic, you are there, or you are connected from elsewhere, you are telling the Lord, I want you to make me a like-minded helper. Somebody who will be a helper in the house of God. All that it takes, so Lord, I pray you give unto me. Pray <laughs> Help me that I will be in harmony with other believers. <laughs> that I will be a support to the vision of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> a support to the mission of the Lord, a support to the church leadership. Oh, Lord, that my, my, I will just be a man, a woman of like mind, a like mind, a like mind, a like-minded helper. Oh, not hindering the work, not pushing the work back. Oh, Lord, make me a helper in this church. And we are going to pray, oh Lord, we need such laborers in this church. Help us in the ministry. Help us with the children ministry. Help us with the adult ministry. Help us with the youth ministry. Help us with the, the, with the YPF ministry, with the women ministry, in the singing, in the, in the choir, in the keyboard, in all the things that they, we should do. Oh Lord, raise us, help us. Like-minded help us. People who have a mind of Christ. And you pray for yourself, oh Lord, make me a builder in this church. A builder, a caring builder, builder, a caring builder, oh, caring for people. Oh, Lord, that you will touch my heart, you will touch my life, that my care will be genuine, my care will be true. All things are possible unto God. We are telling the Lord, Lord, that, that spirit of care, the love of God in my heart, that spirit of care, of, of, of noticing the needs of other people, I'm, I'm building with the kingdom of God. Oh, Lord, help me. That, that, that thing will be developed in my own life too. Lord. I 
and we are going to pray, oh Lord, we need such people, we need such laborers, oh Lord, send them. Remember, our Lord said, pray ye the Lord of the harvest. He will send laborers, he will send laborers, he will send, oh Lord, send us caring builders in this church who will build and will not scatter, who will build children, who will build adults, oh Lord, who will build ministries, who will build homes, oh Lord, help us, who will build churches, who will build congregations in the name of Jesus. <laughs> There are places we have not reached. Some people, the builders will build. There are, there, are, there are grounds that you have not covered. Builders will go there to build. Uh, some people, oh, they mind their own things. You t tell the Lord, Lord, I want to be a selfless, a selfless servant. Oh, Lord, I don't want to be a part of the people minding their own things. No, not the things of Christ. Lord, I, that self will go. Make me a, self, a, a selfless servant in the house of God. Serving, serving, serving without just Serving myself or serving without, without any, any, any focus on, on personal gain, personal reward. Oh, Lord, give me that heart. <laughs> and, Lord, send us such, such laborers who will serve the Lord, who will serve the Lord, not slothful in business, Fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Oh Lord, give, give us such laborers. Send them. Jesus said, pray ye the Lord of the harvest. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the way to bring them in. From east, from west, from and everywhere, oh Lord, that you send them into this place. There is a lot to do. There is a lot to do in this country. There is a lot to do in the, in the, in the, in the countries around about. In the countries that we represent, there is a lot to do. Oh Lord, send them. Send them. A son in the ministry, a daughter in the ministry. Tell the Lord, Lord, I, I don't want to be a Lord unto myself. Oh, Lord, make me such a person. Such a person as a son serves with the father, as a daughter serves with the father. Oh, Lord, I want to be a son, a daughter in the ministry. Oh, Lord, let it be. Oh, Lord, let it be. People like Phoebe, oh, they did it. People like Priscilla, they did it. People like Aquila, they did it. People like, uh, you, uh, you know, they, 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 they brought us in the, in, the, in the time of old, Apollos, they did it. Just pray, oh God, I just want to be like that. Titus was like that. Philemon was like that. Oh Lord, I want to be a son in the ministry. I want to be a son in the ministry. John Mark. Ah, who at one time was not performing, they eventually be began to perform, and he became useful, a son in the ministry. Pray that the Lord will make you like that. And let us pray, oh Lord, send us such laborers, sons and daughters in the ministry who will serve the Lord fervently, who will serve the Lord with all their heart, who will be able to follow instruction. <laughs> obedient sons, obedient daughters in the ministry. Those are the people who will do the service of the king. Oh, Lord, send them unto us. Oh, Lord, send them unto us. We need them in every department of the, of the church. We need them as missionaries also in this church. I will be able to send to other cities and other nations. Missionaries <laughs> 
pray unto the Lord, Lord, I want to be a dependable, a dependable representative. Ah, that when, I, when, when sent, I will be able to do the work. Do the work. I will give, make me dependable. Grant me the grace. That grace in my life. That, that I will be trustworthy. I will be, I will be dependable. The work of God will not be spoiled in my hand. The work will prosper in my hand. I will do it as the leaders will do it. In the name of Jesus. I will speak the word of God as the leaders will speak. I will encourage the brethren as the leaders will, will do. I will be a, a, an encouragement to the ministers of God. As you are praying, remember God is answering. God is answering. And then you ask all that you need to learn. As you, to, you know, to study the Bible, to pray, that God will give you grace. Oh Lord, I want to develop. I also want to grow. I want to grow. Oh Lord, teach me. Instruct me. As I read the word of God, give me understanding. Give me light. Give me illumination. And we are going to pray that God will send them also. Oh Lord, we want all you to send us, uh, you know, dependable representatives in the name of Jesus. People that will be able to to send here and there to do the work of the ministry in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Yeah. Our God is answering our prayers in Jesus' name. Yeah. Now we will continue. Everybody say, continue. continue. The Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now you are going to pray for yourself. I want to be that humble brother, that humble sister. Not just looking for, for, for accolades on my own. Not looking for praise of men. Oh, Lord, the, the humility that comes from above. The humility that comes by the Holy Ghost. Lord, grant it unto me. Let's pray. pray Paul was a highly educated person, a scholar, and yet he moved in and out, you know, with the apostles and with the brethren in Jerusalem. Ah, you know, no matter what we have achieved in the world or in the church, God, Lord, help me. I just want to be that humble person. Maybe you are older than other people. Oh, yes, you just move along, uh, along with them. Everybody could have company with Paul. Everybody who could have company with Timothy. No, just ask the Lord, Lord, how that humility of mind. Remember, as you are praying, the Lord is hearing. The Lord wants to hear your sweet voice. Your voice is sweet in the ears of our Almighty God because He listens to His own children. We are going to ask the Lord to send them unto us, humble brethren who will come and will serve the Lord, who will evangelize together, who will teach some the Scriptures. They will teach in the house fellowships. They will develop other people. They will do follow up. Humble people that will be able to carry this, carry this, and just serve in the Lord. Lord, send them unto us. Oh Lord, I want to be a companion in labor. Oh Lord, help me, give me grace. A companion in labor, working with other people. All the things that, that I mean that will make me, you know, maybe it is arrogance or whatever, that will not allow me to work with other people. Or maybe it is personal, social uh, problems that will not allow me to work with other people. Oh Lord, take them away, take them out of my life in the name of Jesus. Remember, a call of fire near other calls of fire, it will burn brighter. It will burn brighter. Oh, Lord, help me to be a companion in labor, a companion in service. Oh, Lord, my mouth will not transgress. I will not be a companion in evil doing. Oh, Lord, my doing, my deeds, my contribution in this church will be positive. Make me a companion in labor. <laughs> to build and not to destroy. And we are going to ask the Lord, Lord, send them unto us. Send them unto us. Send them unto us. 
we want, we want companions in labor, and to people who will company with us, company with our leaders, and will strengthen the hands of the brethren. Companions in labor. We don't want strife. We don't want division. We just want companions in labor. Oh Lord, send them unto us so that we'll be able to do it joyfully. Joyfully together. Joyfully together. Joyfully together. Jesus. Heavenly Father, there is nothing too difficult for you. Pray your hand with your partner. Your power and be Oh Lord, make me a soldier. Make me a soldier. Prayer like soldier. When you are praying, when you are working, you are serving, Lord, make, give me the spirit of a soldier. A soldier, a soldier. The Bible says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a true soldier. No man that wore it entangled himself with the affairs of this world that he might seek you. Please say, who has chosen him to be a soldier? Oh Lord, make me a soldier of the cross. Make me a soldier of the cross in the name of Jesus, a trusted soldier. Oh Lord, make me one in the name of Jesus. Bring a soldier in the name of Jesus. Ask God to strengthen you. Maybe you feel weak. Maybe you feel tired. And you are saying, oh, how am I going to do it? Oh, Lord, give me strength. Oh, Lord, give me help. Oh, Lord, help me by your spirit. I want to be a trusted soldier. Will Lord send soldiers unto us? Send soldiers unto us, soldiers of the cross. We will conquer. We will conquer the devil. We will conquer the land. We will be able to win souls. Send us soldiers who will fight. Send us soldiers who will fight and get and get and defend the territory. Oh, soldiers of the cross that will defend the doctrine. They will defend the truth. Oh Lord, send us soldiers. Soldiers who will not be weary, who will not be tired, who will receive strength from the Lord. Oh Lord, send us soldiers in this church. Oh, I pray that you send us soldiers in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, precious Lord, we are praying, oh God. Remember our Lord said, Pray ye the Lord of the harvest that he will send laborers. We, we want such laborers, soldiers, 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 soldiers who are fighting with the devil, who are conquering the enemy, so that we will be able to bring goods. Oh Lord, I want you to make me a faithful messenger. A faithful messenger, pray. Oh Lord, make me a faithful messenger. A messenger of God. A messenger of God. And as you are praying, you are asking the Lord, Oh Lord, I don't want to do it alone. Send us other faithful messengers. It is required in servants that a man be found safe, faithful. Stewards must be faithful. I want to be a steward of God. Oh Lord, send us your own stewards. In the name of Jesus. A servant. A steward must receive from the Lord because before he can give to other people. A messenger must receive from the Lord before he can give to other people. Oh Lord, help me that I will be able to receive from heaven. I will be able to receive from heaven. I will be connected to heaven. Connect me, oh Lord. Connect me to heaven. That when I stand to minister, whether I'm evangelizing or whatever I'm doing, or I'm visiting the sick, or I'm praying, oh Lord, I will receive from heaven. I want the gift of God. And Lord, send us other people like that too. Pray that we will receive from heaven. Oh Lord, make me a support to leadership. Make me a support to leadership in this church. Help me. I want to be a support, a divine support to support the ministers, to support the ministry. Oh Lord, help me by your grace, by your power. A support, a support, a support, a support. 
Not a critic, not somebody cutting others down, not somebody, you know, destroying the work. No, 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 no. I just want to be a supporter, a pillar. Oh, Lord, make me a pillar in this church. Oh, Lord, make me a pillar in this church. Oh, that one way, even oh, Lord, oh, no matter what is happening, I will be, they will be able to trust, oh, he is there, she is there. In the name of Jesus, oh, Lord, make me such a pillar. Make me such a pillar. Make me such a pillar. Serving diligently, Lord. Heavenly Father, all things are possible unto you. There is nothing too far or too difficult for you. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. 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 You are doing well. Amen. We can pray more. Yes. The Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' Amen. name. And now we, let's, let's pray that God will raise support for this church. Oh, Lord, send us pillars in the church. We don't want caterpillars. We want oh. pillars. Oh, Lord, send us pillars in this church. Send our support in this church. In the name of Jesus. People who will love. Who will love their brethren. All who have the love of God in their heart. With God, all things are possible. Pray. <laughs> Pray. Who will labor? Who will labor? Oh Lord, who will labor without fainting? Make me such a laborer. Serving, laboring, relentlessly, moving and moving and doing the work and doing the work and doing the work, receiving energy. Pray that the Lord will give you strength. Oh Lord, give me energy. Give me. If you are weak, you tell the Lord, Lord, make me strong. Oh Lord, quicken me. Oh Lord, enable me. I want to be able to do beyond my physical, natural ability because of the grace of God. Paul the Apostle said, I labored more than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God, which was in me. Ask the Lord, Lord, give me the strength to labor abundantly. To labor abundantly. To labor abundantly. And we are going to ask the Lord, Lord, send such people to us too. Send such people to us too. Those who are going to labor. Those who are going to labor abundantly. Send, we need them. We need them. In the IT, we need them. Everywhere, we need them. Laboring on the roads in the, in the, in the summer, in the winter. Oh, Lord, we need them. Send them in the name of Jesus. Laboring in prayer, laboring like, like you know, like Epaphras, laboring fervently in prayers. Oh Lord, send them to us, send them to us, and make me one of them too. <laughs> and lastly, you are going to pray. You are going to pray. Oh Lord, make me, make me, make me, Lord. A diligent gap filler. That when there is a gap, oh Lord, that gap will not remain. I will fill it. I will more than fill it. Oh Lord, anywhere I am, anywhere I go, oh Lord, help me. I want to be a diligent gap filler. Oh, we are looking for men, for women. I will say, oh, who will go for this mission? Who will go? And there are gaps here and there. Oh Lord, make me, make me one of them. Make me one of them. All that you need to do in my life to purge my life, to purify my life, to, to cleanse my life. So, oh Lord, whatever you need to, to, to make me free to serve. Oh Lord, whatever encumbrance is in my life that is not allowing me to do it. Oh Lord, take it away. Take it away. I yield myself. I consecrate myself. I'm praying. Oh Lord, help me. Anywhere I am, my impact will be felt positively. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. And especially in this church, Lord, I pray. Make my, my, my impact to be positive. That it will be so real, so, 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 so present that... Now heaven will see it, art will see it, and it will be positive, and it will lead to progress in the church. And we are going to pray also, oh Lord, send such people. Oh, there are gaps here and there in the ministry. Oh, Lord, send such people. You know where they are. Oh, Lord, send such people. We don't want to labor alone. Send, send such people. Pray ye the Lord of the harvest, that he would send laborers into his own harvest. In Jesus' name we pray. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to thank the Lord for answering our prayers today. Thank the Lord. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you all the glory because you have enabled me to pray. And I have prayed. Lord, receive all the glory. Receive all the praise. 